Hi, I'm Ben from Condor Cycles, and I'm going to talk a little bit about our Supra Chayo, which has moved on to its second generation for 2014. As I say, this is the second generation of the bike, which has been in production for two years already now, so this is going into its third year. Um, we have recently made a change of tubing for the 2014 bike, which in the process of development has shed somewhere in the region of 200 grams from the overall frame weight, so that takes it down to about 1600 grams, which is pretty lightweight for a racing steel frame. The bike now features some more intricately profiled tubes, so the top tube is a bit more complex. It's got, it's got some flattened edges to it, you know, the profiling of which helps to keep the tube stiff when you're, uh, when you're paring the weight down, when you're removing material. The same goes for the down tube, which is quite heavily biovalized as well. So it's, you've got almost, a, almost an upright oval at the head tube and then down at the bottom bracket where the forces are all generated through the bottom, through the pedals and the cranks, the, the oval actually runs the opposite way, so almost like an egg on its side. It means that you can have a very stiff tube that's stiff in different directions without being monstrously heavy. The Supra Chayo is, is unique in that it is the only steel road bike in production at the moment which has, um, which features the same inch and eighth to inch and a half tapered head tube that the carbon race bike features. That allows us to use the same, um, the same carbon fork as on our team race bike. This means the bike's um, stiff at the front end, it's lightweight because it's got the super light fork in it and really precise sure handling front end. At the rear of the bike you've got these beautifully flattened seat stays which are pretty slim at the bottom and then they, they broaden out slightly at the top. They're obviously flattened which gives you a nice compliance through the rear end of the bike so the whole beauty of the steel bike as a race frame is that it it's very very stiff without compromising ride comfort so steel has a unique feel when you're riding it which is unlike any other material. Additional features on the Supra Chayo that set it apart from nearly all other steel bikes on the market are a press fit bottom bracket as opposed to the older conventional threaded system. Obviously the tapered head tube which I mentioned earlier and the, the drive side chainstay which is scooped in shape which increases clearance between the chain and the chainstay itself so that goes some way towards eliminating chain slap as you're riding. We've all had bikes where the chainstay is peppered with chips from where the chain has uh, smacked against the paintwork and a lower curved seat stay helps to reduce and almost eliminate that slap. Throughout the development process of this bike from the very beginning the team riders on Rafa Condor have been uh, or have played a, a key part. The very first bike was um, was ridden by Dan Craven who we built the original Steely Dan for. That was a fair few years ago now. The bike's been through about well went through about 15 different iterations before we reached production and this the, the latest incarnation was ridden by Christian House in the last few stages of the Tour of Britain this year. It's absolutely the same as the production bike in every way. The only difference is, of course, that you can see it's finished in the Rafa Condor JLT team finish in exactly the same way as his carbon road bike would have been. Christian is uh, someone who grew up riding on a steel bike as a younger as a younger guy, uh, one of his first bike, well, his first ever race bike was a steel bike. So immediately jumping on this was like going back to the good old days of uh, his first ever race bike, which was a nice touch for him.